Hey guys, good morning. Everyone's gone. It was kind of a hectic morning for them, I could hear. But I woke up a little bit late and I am so tired. I went to bed like at 11.45, but I just, I don't know. I was dreaming weird. I Apparently I drank too much water yesterday because I got up in the middle of the night to pee and I never get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Never, like I'm a fairly hard sleeper when it comes to that. So, I don't know, but anyway, for lunch today, I'm gonna take some chili. They ate chili last night and then um, we got a freezer meal out of it, which is awesome. I think tonight, He's gonna make ribs, cause that's what's in the fridge. Oh, Bella, you need to go potty. You need to go potty, Bella. <laughs> so anyway, I gotta get a move on because I'm going to be late. 8.21, I need a good 20 minutes, so I have to figure out what I'm gonna take the rest of the day and breakfast. <laughs> Most important meal of the day, can't forget that. Okay, today's gonna be a boring day. Everybody's out of the house, Melissa's is working, the girls are at school, and the house is a wreck. <sighs>
Bella, you need to go outside? You wanna go outside? Let's go. Okay, cage is looking decent. It took a little while, but it was worth it. Now, take all this junk upstairs. Now the upstairs is also a mess. Normally we have the girls clean up their rooms before uh, before we start uh, the day. But during the week it's a little hard just because they normally wake up at 7. And Amy uh, needs to be at school by 8 o'clock. So it's hard to get the, to wake them up, get them ready, and get them, get them to school uh, in just one hour or so. Weekends. When they're home, we have them clean up their rooms. And during the week, if I'm off or if Melissa doesn't have anything, to, uh, like not that much to do, then that's when we, we do it ourselves. So I'm off today, so it's time to work. Oh, it looks so much better now. Now I know uh, a lot of you have asked, why is it that Emmy's bed is smaller than Maddie's? Well, when, when we first got Amy, she was still little. She was under uh, two years old, and she was in one of those uh, toddler bed. Now, the next step was this, or at least we felt that this was uh, the next step. I mean, she was three or four years old when we got this bed for her, so he was a good size, you know, for a kid her age. Now, Maddie. Maddie's in this big bed, if that's what you want to call it. But the reason for that is because for all of you who are uh, long-time followers, you may remember this. That, or this, used to be uh, Maddie's crib. Her crib was one of those uh, convertible ones. So you just turn into this. Nothing planned. And the same thing is going to be with uh, with Autumn. Autumn's bed is also uh, convertible. So I went from a crib to this. And from this, it's going to turn into a, into a full size. Now, the cool thing about Emmys is that it allows room for other things. Like her dresser is twice the size as uh, Maddie's. And it also allows uh, room for, for a desk. And that's something that Maddie's and Autumn's beds uh, aren't gonna aren't gonna allow. That's the only the only uh, space that there is for left for uh, Maddie's room. So her, whenever she gets a desk, that's where it's gonna go, and there's not gonna be room for anything else. And the same thing is gonna happen with uh, with Autumn. Now this is what happens when you do like. 20 loads of laundry.
took a little while, but all the laundry is been put away. Yes. <laughs> I had to go pick up Maddie from school early today because she wasn't feeling good. She had a little temperature and she threw up. Are you feeling okay? Yes. Okay, lay down. Hey guys, it is officially midnight. I am just now editing the vlog. I'm getting it exported right now. I just finished editing it. I'm exporting it right now and um, I'm about to upload it. But honestly, I've been home. I mean, I got home like at almost six and we had dinner, um, which I put in uh, what's for dinner. It was like a kind of like a steak fajita taco salad and it was really good. But I was trying really hard so I met with my manager today and she completely changed around my schedule next week like 100% I'm scheduled 46 hours so I work at the hospital on Sunday and then the rest of the week every single day I work at H&R Block which I'm used to like I'm not that worried about that but um I'm already exhausted <laughs> and I have a paper due tomorrow and I knew I had a paper due tomorrow so initially my goal was to get it done during the day but I ended up working during the day today and coming home to a sick kiddo Maddie had a fever and she threw up at school and it just was a mess so we ate dinner and she had like clears and things like that I gave her a bath and I tried I sat down probably around 6 45 7 o'clock and started to do my paper and I literally did not finish until 11 p.m. it took me a little over four hours because I am having the most difficult time I don't know like what has happened to research articles and journals lately but um, there's a library on the school that I go to that I have access to so I've been trying to get articles and as references and we can use our textbooks but we have to have additional ones and you guys have no idea how difficult of a time I'm having like things won't let me log in it's just like spinning 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 I've tried changing browsers I've tried using different computers oh my god it's a nightmare nightmare so I mean I know it's been a little while since I've been in school but my god I used to be so good at just like busting out papers uh no the actual paper like once I got my references and stuff the paper didn't take me long at all to write but it's just I could not find any freaking rep references and that's a huge part of your grade so it's not like you want to just be like oh forget it I don't need to you know put extra references no like that's a big part I'm trying to make an A here so I was having a meltdown to myself because there's nobody that I was texting Bia actually and she's like don't throw things I'm like oh my gosh how can you see me so beyond frustrated oh my gosh so beyond frustrated so I didn't vlog because I wasn't in a good mind my headspace to vlog like not at all so if you guys are in any type of nursing school let me know in the comments below what you guys use for like journal articles and I mean like I said it's been about five years since I've been in school but I'm not sure what's going on <laughs> like I used to have no problem and literally for all of my discussion posts I've had the exact same problem finding references and I don't know why I don't know why Anytime I Google things, like journals and articles half pop up, like just the abstract. Um, it doesn't allow me to see them without subscribing. And then when I use my university library, which is supposed to be free for me, it doesn't let me log into certain things. And I used to use Ovid, O-V-I-D, um, when I was in nurse, when I was in my BSM program way back when. And apparently, like, I can't figure out my login so I don't know if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments below so I finally finished it around 11 20 ish and then um I was like okay well because that was priority like if it were too late I was just gonna go to bed so I went ahead and started editing the vlog and once I started that I committed myself so went ahead and did that luckily tomorrow I only am scheduled 9 to 12 because I'm scheduled so many hours next week but if it's busy I'm going to stay so I'm just kind of like you know trying not too hard to worry about it but I'm already tired I already felt like I didn't get enough sleep and then tomorrow night I have to go to bed even earlier and I usually don't get enough sleep before I go to the hospital so 
it was very stressful. I was like, why, why, why can't I just finish this assignment? Like it's not that hard. So it's done though and I turned it in and now I don't have anything due until Wednesday. So I will try my hardest to get on top of that and to stay on top of it so I'm not cramming it all in one day. But I didn't want to do it tomorrow. I could have waited. I probably should have waited till tomorrow because, or like finished what I could tonight and then stepped away because I was so frustrated. I felt like I was never going to finish. So that's what I should have done. I probably should have just waited until tomorrow and finished the rest of it. But I didn't want to get stuck at H&R and then have to, and I'm glad since it took me so long and then come home tomorrow night exhausted even more and have to finish it. So it's done, it's out of the way. I don't have to worry about another assignment till Wednesday. And the class is flying by, I only have three more weeks. It's a five week class and I've, I just completed week two. So I know it's going fast, but I'm just like, oh Lord. So needless to say, everyone's in bed and as soon as the vlog is done exporting, which I'm hoping is like any second now, I am going to bed. So I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow.